Namaste. Uh, this is Sunita from VegCreations.com. Uh, today we'll be making Vongkai Pulsupachadi uh, or eggplant, uh, the big eggplant tangy chutney. I'll show you how to make it. Okay, first let's wash this eggplant. Now that I have washed it, I'm going to be just putting it directly on the flame, like this on the stove. And like burn it from all sides. So making sure that you turn once in a while. I do not hold it with your hand while turning because it's going to be very hot. There is steam that's going to be coming out of the eggplant. So hold it with some tongs or um, you know two big spatulas while turning <coughs> turning the eggplant uh, so that it gets cooked from all sides. I usually prefer using uh, these tongs to turn it. So it's easy for me to just turn it sideways and then remove it again. Make sure that it's on the flame. So it has to uh, cook from all the sides, bottom, top, on, on all the sides basically. Uh, once it's cooked, you'll see that the skin has turned completely black. And um, then we are going to be using the inside part of the eggplant. Now while the eggplant is getting cooked, can see that it's turning uh, black and the skin is kind of peeling off so still you need to turn make sure that all the sides are cooked well um, I'll show you once it's completely done you know how the color has changed uh, but let's check out the rest of the ingredients uh, necessary for the Wonkai Pulse Bachari. So here I have taken uh, one onion that's finely chopped and uh, then I have three teaspoons of oil, a pinch of hing. I'm using tamarind paste. So I've taken one and a half teaspoons of tamarind paste, a, a half a teaspoon of haldi, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, salt, one green chili, and two cups of water. We'll use the water according to our um, uh, interest, you know, basically it's our, uh, so each person has its has his own taste. So according to your taste, you can make it either watery or thick. Uh, so we'll, I'll show you uh, how to make it watery or thicker uh, when we get to that. So this is how uh, the eggplant looks once it's done. So right now it's still smoking. So that smoked flavor is what gives it a nice distinct taste. I let it cool down a little bit and then we'll take off the black outer, the burnt cover and then we'll be using the inside white part of the eggplant. Now let's heat up a kadai, a small kadai and um, we'll, be, we'll be adding first, let's add the oil. Let the oil heat up a little bit and then I'll add the hing. Okay, let's add the hing if the oil is hot. So I added the hing. Once the hing sizzles a little bit, I'll add the mustard seeds. Let the mustard seeds pop. Once the mustard seeds start to pop, I'll add the green chilies and then the chopped onions. So now you can hear the mustard seeds popping. So let's add the green chilies, chopped green chilies. And a little bit. And then let's add the onion. And fry the onions till they start to turn slightly golden yellow in color. They'll turn, turn transparent. Add a little bit of salt for uh, the onions to cook faster. So let me just uh, let it cook on the stove for about three to four minutes on high. While the onions are being cooked, um, 
let's start peeling the eggplant be careful it's still kind of hot so you can wait till it cools down but I am in kind of a hurry right now so let me finish peeling it so a lot of people have a bowl of water next to it just you know in case they burn their finger they can just dip it in that so I'm going to be pretty careful peeling it so this inside part of the eggplant is what we need the skin just gets out very easily as you can see let me complete it before I show you the whole uh, white part of the eggplant so here you can see the um, onion the chopped onions are turning kind of golden yellow let me add the turmeric powder to it and fry for a bit and so this is ready and then I'm going to switch off the stove in the meantime let's go ahead and prepare the eggplant I have peeled the eggplant fully and then once I open we need to make sure that there is no insects if there is an insect or something just discard it um, so I'm going to be, so I checked already, so there is no insects in it. So it's, it's a nice eggplant, so there's nothing, it's a clean eggplant. So now I'm going to just crush it with a spoon. If it's, you feel that it's still too hard, you can just put it in the microwave again for three to four minutes, so it gets softer. So this is how it looks once you have removed the skin and you mash it. Many people tend to use hands to mash it. It's up to you if you prefer using a spoon or your hand. But I have used a spoon and uh, I did put it in the microwave for four more minutes so it's easy um, to, uh, to mash it with a spoon. So now I'll add the salt directly to this. You don't need to put it on the stove again. So that's why it's called Davonkai Pachi Pulsu or you can call it Pulsu Pachari. So I added salt and then I'll add the tamarind paste to it. Give me just a second. There you go. I added the tamarind paste as well. So now I'll add the fried onions that we had made earlier. So I added that as well. Give it a mix. And then we are going to be adding water. So I added a little bit. So a lot of people prefer this consistency. So again, depending on your taste, mix well and the onion chutney is ready, but I like it slightly watery. So I'm going to mix it again. Use a mixing bowl and then you can transfer it into a serving bowl. Because see the tamarind paste and everything is stuck to the side, so it doesn't look good when you serve it this way. So just first use a mixing bowl to make the chutney and then you can use a serving bowl to serve it. There you go. My chutney is ready. So this goes very well um, with any dal, papakura, like the dry dal. Uh, it tastes very good. So enjoy and let me know how it tastes. Okay. Thank you. Namaskar. Sometimes the eggplant is kind of fibrous so at that time you have to use your hand to remove the extra fibers while crushing the eggplant but my eggplant was tender the eggplant that I used um, so that's why it's uh, I, I just had to mash it with a spoon and then some people prefer using uh, jaggery as well so you just have to dissolve the jaggery powder the jaggery and put it in the chutney and just uh, mix it well so it dissolves so it's all up to you but I did not add jaggery so I'm going to be serving this with a dry papakura today. Um, it's the cabbage papakura. It has, it has been listed on my website. I'll be putting a video up soon about that as well. So thank you. Namaskar.